I was looking for a motorcycle able to be used on any kind of road and even easy trails for long distance travel. In the past, I've had very good experience with Honda Transalps, so I got myself a Transalps 700. This bike needs a lot of love and will be modified to fit my riding and the type of places it will be driven to. I will be posting videos about any improvement made on the bike. But for now, it's time to address the only weak point these nearly indestructible bikes have. On the whole Transalps and Africa Twins, the transmission shaft used to wear. And the problem is even worse on the Transalps 650 and 700. This is a very, very expensive repair. On my bike, despite having more than 100,000 kilometers, it doesn't look bad. But you cannot really see it, it's starting to wear out. There is a solution to delay or even prevent this problem, and it's to put a thicker front sprocket. This way, the torque will be distributed over a greater width of the shaft. KK Bikes is an Italian company that produces this kind of sprocket for several bike models. For the Transarp, you can choose between the stock 15 teeth sprocket or a 16 teeth. I choose the later to try it. I will post a video about my impressions on this modification. This sprocket is larger than the stock one and have a different type of retention system to take advantage of the entire width of the shaft. It's very easy to replace the sprocket. First, you have to loosen the rear axle. And also the chain tensioners. Again, the chain tensioners on the other side. A couple of kicks in the tire will move the wheel forward. Mark the position of the gear pedal and then remove it with a 10 mm wrench. Now remove the screw on the low side of the engine cover, that will help a lot to remove the sprocket cover. Remove the sprocket cover with an 8mm socket.
rotator socket to remove the retaining plate of the stock sprocket. And remove the sprocket. Use some WD-40 if required. You can clearly see somewhere it started to show. And here you can see the difference between the stock sprocket and the super sprocket by KK Bikes. It's nearly double width. Now just put the new sprocket on the shaft. Because I'm installing a 16 teeth sprocket, I had to disengage the chain from the real sprocket to be able to fit it. You shouldn't have any trouble with a standard 15 teeth sprocket. But yeah, I had uh, some struggles because um, this uh, sprocket is bigger. So I had to disengage the, the chain from the real sprocket and then everything went fine. The battery of my camera died a few seconds after these images, but I had some struggles fitting the sprocket and the retaining plates, because everything is very tight, which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, yeah, I, I, had, I had some difficulties fitting uh, the, the retaining plates, but uh, as I said, uh, everything is uh, very, very tight and uh, there's absolutely no play. So it, for me it's perfect that, uh, that guarantee um, some longevity on the, on the shaft. Now I have peace of mind for thousands and thousands of kilometers. I really recommend to any old Transal or Africa Twin owner to do this improvement as soon as possible. The earlier the better, before the wear is too bad.